Hello everyone, we will continue the topic classical reports and in the previous videos, we fetched data from header table, we understood the concept of for all entries in, then we fetched data from item table, then we understood the full output in the debugging mode. Now this program has a major bug and whenever we will work in the projects also, maximum time we will find that particular bug. So we will firstly analyze that particular bug, why that particular bug is there, and then we will go for the solution for the same. Suppose, as of now, suppose I'm running this program. I'm giving order number, suppose one, two, three. We are getting a expected output from the header table, from the item table. If I will go to header table, most, most important issue. Suppose if I will go to header table, we have order number one to five in the header table. If I will go to item table, In the item table also, we have order number one, two, five are there. Now, what I will do, I will go to SM30 transaction code and I will put order number six and seven into header table subs. I will go to new entries. Suppose I am going for order number six. I will put some date. I will go for payment mode, total amount, currency. Suppose I will put order number seven. I will choose some date. I will go for some payment mode, total amount, currency. I will save. Now I put two more records into the order header table. Now I will run the program. Suppose I am giving the input order number one to seven. I am executing. Have you seen in the output we only got order number one to five. We have not got order number six and seven. Yes, we can understand it is not in the item table, but customer will say, okay, it is in the header table. Why six and seven is not coming? Customer will say, I can understand it is not in the item table. So you cannot go for item number and amount. But why, why six and seven is not coming in the output? It's the most, most common mistake, which by wherever we will write the code, we will do this kind of mistake. Firstly, we will understand why, why it is happening and debugging will play a vital role here. We will find, we will check why this is happening. Then we will come on to the solution. Suppose for the best understanding, I will, I will simply, simply put, suppose I will simply put six and seven. I'll put the breakpoint first, then we will go for this. I'll put a breakpoint. And we will understand why it is happening. Suppose I will go for, suppose I will go for this button. I will put order number one, which is in both the tables. Then I will go for order number six and seven, which is only, only in the header table. So we will only get the details of order number one in the output. Six and seven is not coming currently. And we will see why, why it is happening. We'll go to execute button. Desktop three, most preferable desktop. 
you might not have the knowledge of debugging up to this playlist, but just go for F6, F6, just do F6. Double click, this internal table has zero records. Our input is on the right hand side, one, six and seven. I'm doing F6. So this query executed and we have three records in the internal table. And up to this level, it is perfectly fine because we got order number one, we got order number six and order number seven, perfectly fine. Now, this if condition is true because we have three records in the internal table. Now, we are fetching data from item table based upon the order number of first internal table. This is on the right hand side. So what are the order numbers in the first internal table? 1, 6 and 7. 1, 6 and 7 will go to O number column of item table. But in the item table, we do not have 6 and 7. We only have 1. So whenever I will execute, have you seen in this internal table, we only only have order number 1. 6 and 7 is not there and it should not come at all. It means up to this level also, our program is perfectly fine. Now we will proceed further. Now, first record from the internal table will go to work area. Now you can see in this work area, we have the first record. First record. And what is the order number one? If you see, what is the where condition for the second loop? First work area order number. It will check into this internal table. Yes. One is equal to one. Yes. So this record from the internal table will go to work area. This inner loop will continue three times. And we are appending that data to final internal table. So LT final first record. Now for the second record also, one is equal to one understood. Now second record appended to final internal table. Now third record true condition appended to final internal table. So we have three records in the final internal table done. Up to this level, everything is fine. Now, now control will go to outer loop now, outer loop. First record processed. First record processed. Now it is a turn for the second record now. So order number six will go to work area. Order number six is in the work area. Now we are looping the second internal table and in this internal table, it is checking. Do you have a order number six? We do not have a order number six. So this loop is simply, simply failed. If loop is failed inside the loop, we have written the logic to append the data to final internal table. So this loop failed. So no record appended. LT final has three to three. Now, control will go to again outer loop. Now in this in work area, now we have order number seven. In the inner internal table, we do not have order number seven. So nothing will append and we have only only three records in LT underscore final and we are displaying. But now customer is saying why why six and seven is not coming. So it means we should this append this append something needs to be done with this particular logic. We have written the logic 
inside this nested loop if record is not in the item table this append logic will never execute if append logic will not execute how that record will come in the output so this is the full full reason why why the output is not coming now what we will do in the next video we will see how we can correct this particular error so what is the summary of the video in this video we identified we saw a most most common bug whenever we are writing the logic and the bug is if we have a record in header table and the record is not in the item table yes maximum time yes whenever we will go for header we will put into item yes but i showed you the scenario in which i put the data into header but as of now i have not put the data into item yes if i will put in both no problem if you see 1 to 5 is perfectly fine for 6 or 7 it is creating problem because that is in header that is not in the item table. Once I will put 6 and 7 into item, no problem at all. Then we analyzed in the debugging board because we have written the logic for append inside this inside the second loop. And in the second internal table, there is no 6 and 7. That's why nothing is appending to the final table and we are not getting the expected result in the next video we will write the logic we will again understand the flow in the debugging mode and we will correct that particular error. so that's it in this particular video thank you